Many people in this world don't like Christians and they don't like Jesus Christ. Those people aren't realizing the bigger picture about salvation, eternity, up or down, the choices and decisions we make in this world. This is a musician from Spain. They are a homosexual man. And in this picture, it's clear to see that he's going to take a bite from the apple, like in the beginning in the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve and Satan. Satan says, don't listen to God, listen to me, Satan. You will be as gods, you will have eyes to see, enlightenment. So this is clear biblical symbolism. He says, this year we take a bite out of the apple. He just so happens to cover half his face and darken one eye, doing one eye symbolism, the eye of Horus. He's doing the Eye of Horus slam dunk pose here, but he's actually copying Lady Guy Guy. And they both have a lightning bolt on their cheek. Who fell like lightning to the... right? <laughs> homosexuality, homosexuality, sodomy, gender bending. These are things that God doesn't want us to do. Not just one specific person or group of people. All of us. Some of us realize this and want to remedy it by having faith in Jesus and stepping away from sin and the flesh. It's very easy to be in sin and do what your flesh wants. That's so easy to do. It's hard to walk with God. At first, it gets easier and we all have off days. We're human beings and God knows this. He knows our heart. He knows when we're trying. He knows when we're repenting. So is this world just rock and roll or is it biblical and that, you know, the Bible's true, the KJV. We should walk and live a certain way that is pleasing to God. It's kind of like the least we can do for him. Jesus Christ died for sinners in this world. I've had that realization that years ago, I'm like, I'm a sinner. I need God. I've done things I'm not proud of in my life, right? I'm not some horrible person, but according to God, I fall way short and I believe him and trust him. So brothers and sisters, while the world hates us, they think we're full of hate. Very often I think about people and them regretting, like, you know, being in front of God or dying in their sins, and then there's no more do-overs. There's no, oh, well, now I'm going to try. Now that I realize the truth, I'm going to try. If Christians are hated, if I am hated, that's fine. I can take it. Like a lot of us, like me, like we've lost a lot of friends due to our belief system. I'm putting God first and the world doesn't like that. So brothers and sisters, keep picking up your cross daily. Put on the full armor of God daily. Never take it off. God bless you, everyone.